I could go outside again And I could be like any other girl I'd dress in a face mask And walk on the beach till my feet hurt If I were 12 years old again And I had all the money in the world I'd buy me a pool pad And drown myself in the t-shirt Vil du fortelle meg om den forestillingen som du begynte å snakke litt om? Ja. Ja, da tenker jeg at det er en sånn... Ja, jeg tenker litt, kanskje litt sånn, ja, hvordan skal jeg forklare det? At det er noe med ryggraden.
I was actually thinking of changing my name uh, to Saskia. Mm -hmm. And I used to hate this name. Um, but the, when I worked in France, there were so many people who misnamed me Saskia. And I started to get really, like this misunderstanding really made me annoyed or it provoked. Also, my neighbor's bigger sister was called Saskia and she was a bit annoying. So I don't have such good associations with this name. And now I felt like it could be quite nice to sort of change and see what mm. the future has in store for Saskia mm -hmm. instead of Saki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I just thought that, like, I have a tendency to see so much potential always, but I kind of think, I think I want to kind of more now focus on not the potential, but more like maybe what is possible, like, more kind of real, like um, not to not to go overboard with potential actually, because I think it's kind of it's not so healthy always, because I get so disappointed and and then I don't know exactly where to where to go get yeah like get a bit lost maybe or so I was thinking now I'm going to change for the future I'm going to change a bit that habit. Mm -mm. Yeah, so yeah, I can just sit with what is actually mm. more. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What is something you like right now, or something you imagine that will be that you will like? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I'm just looking forward to vacation, mm. kind of the summer, because I know that will happen. Mm. That's also very good for me to know. I mean, yeah, I know the summer will come and there will be a vacation. Mm. So, <laughs> yeah, that's good. What attracted you to becoming a beggar? Sometimes I can, um, I don't know, if you, because uh, like when you were visiting, mm. we are almost new to us, like mm -hmm. uh, some some people have been in the workshop before, but mm. some haven't. Yeah. And when, when you get to something new and you have to use a new tool. Yeah. Uh, but I think sometimes that you can try to imagine mm. like a, an experienced person using the tool or the machine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that helps sometimes. Mm. Like if I imagine my father, mm -hmm. like who, who knows how to use tools and yeah. machines. Yeah. 
then I I think that's that's a fun way to do it. Okay. Not that I would like risk anything or yeah. try to be I know how to do this. Not like yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. like to pretend uh, to be a, a, a worker in a workshop. Yeah. Uh, how would it feel? Because you feel in the body. Yeah. Like, like this is wrong. It, it yeah. doesn't feel right. And, yeah. And the outcome is ugly. So <laughs> that was not right. Yeah. Like okay. if you pretend to to be someone with mm. experience. Mm. Uh, a bit like acting, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Ever since I thinking of mm. Yeah. But in a fun way. Mm. Without risking your hands or yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> anyone else's <laughs> hands. Yeah. Or breaking a machine. But yeah, it's exactly. expensive. Yeah. No, very, very. Even just watching, yeah, the very first time was with the choreography, yeah, yeah. and you asked us to imagine, and I noticed like the difference between getting excited about the story unfolding, mm -hmm. which I could kind of see in Christine when you watch on your presentation, mm -hmm. where she kind of started like, oh yeah, in the back of my neck, mm -hmm. yeah. and this kota or like, yeah, and then maybe there's many. Like you start to create a kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm. The piece, I, I think, what I think is like, that's what the piece will, that's kind of the will of the piece itself. I started to believe in that in a way, like, like I'm creating this piece and that piece is, it's, you know, the, it has its own kind of effect and I'm in that effect. So it's a bit hard for me to talk about, actually. I really don't know how to describe it in a way, but it's so... Oh, very emotional in a way. Um, yeah, especially this fruit eating section that is so kind of comforting for me and and maybe that's why I'm so resonating with this piece because we have this section of this fruit eating what sound that like kind of becomes I mean it is that but it's kind of twisted it a little bit so that the sound gets rounder and rounder so you can kind of hear this sort of um, it becomes this sound that, you know, do you know when, yeah, you know when, when something slows down a bit? The sound is kind of slowing down a bit, so you can hear all this sort of, like, uh, mouth sounds, mm -hmm. in a way, that you can hear. So I guess that's... Um, yeah, that, that, that's really... For two hours. <laughs> you know? And yeah. then may, maybe you change product and you do one hour of a uh, rond de jambe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to reproduce every day mm. the same thing. Mm. Every day. The same, uh, whatever, 2,000 bread has to go out. The same yeah. every day. Yeah. Should be the same quality. Mm -hmm. um, as well as for a dancer, you know. Okay, you have, have the piece, maybe you have, oh, I don't know what, let's say 100 performances. Mm -hmm. It should be the same mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. It is not the same, but exactly. it's, it should more or less be yeah. the same. Yeah. yeah. So maybe there is like, some kind of similarity. But I, I don't know if... How I, I if I show myself uh, like oh, I'm really oh 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 I'm really so nice so nice to like finally meet you I've been like really so I've been really trying to like not trying um 
Shit. Oh, I'm no. Maybe I shouldn't start with it. I'm really sorry. Um, so I'm coming in. So Laurie's um, gathering all the things on the stage, and I come in and I say, "Hi, hi, on oh, ah, uh. Laurie. Hey, I'm Tracy. Hi, I'm Tracy. Hi, Laurie. I'm Tracy." Uh, I like love you. No, I can say it like more. Okay. And uh, if you have a, you know, you you, you, know, you have a, you did your piece, you get the applause, mm. and and everything was was good and appreciated. You feel mm. very, you get this immediate um, satisfaction. Yeah. 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 To expose yourself also for the audience and, and um, mm. that gives a, a lot. Mm. Uh, I mean, I'm not an ec really an extra, but per person pri privately, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no, mm. no. <laughs> but, <laughs> but but still, I, I was on stage. But, and to 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 com compare to, to to be in a bake bake bakery, you are totally anonymous uh, yeah I mean the, the ones who come in and buy the product product they have no they have no face they have the face of the one who sells the bread mm -hmm. over the counter you mm -hmm. know that is the bakery for them exactly. ah, it's you okay, exactly. okay. Yeah. <laughs> but they have no no idea that chain behind mm -hmm. you know mm. uh, Actually, I had the idea of making my own gravestone, but weld it and to make it like a, a flower pot that you can like fill with uh, with uh, dirt and like make things grow in. Uh -huh. I, I don't know. You know these big yeah, ideas yeah, that, yeah. That, um, that you get sometimes. <laughs> They start somewhere around here.
Ja, kanske bara kan vara att lytta. Ja. Liksom... Eh, jag vet inte helt... Kanske bara kan sitta liksom på en brosten eller... Eller... Eh, eller kanske... Eller kanske ett sånt stort rum. Mm. Mm-hmm. Hur vi liksom bara blir väldigt sån små då. Mm. I det rummet på något sätt. Mm. Ja. Mm. Ja. Jag kanske kan vara en potteplante där eller. <laughs> What else does it look like, or you know, is it um, fifty I, I, people? I always see hats in front of me. You know, hats from the forties or okay, big yeah. coats. Uh, yeah. uh, that that kind of style, women, women, women with with that, that just uh, yeah. dresses like yeah. that, and from, from like all all the times. And mm-hmm. I don't know. I I semi theatrical. Uh, mm. Maybe some something, or something that includes suf- suffering, uh, uh, maybe from the war. Yeah. Um, through the building and you hear also like as if the wind goes through pipes or mm, yeah and through the leaves of the plants around you you don't know how many or you have some sense of proximity 
but you don't know exactly where things are um, because everything is in darkness everything is in darkness um, and then someone walks into the room carrying something mm. and they're carrying uh, this kind of like sack sack um, bag of cloth with a bunch of rocks in um, so you hear the kind of like how do you say um, along the ground like how the kind of rocks through the fabric make a sound on the ground as it's being dragged along mm. and then you just hear that uh, one by one rocks are laid out into the space um, you hear the kind of effort of the carrying and they're really big rocks and the the landing on the on the floor mm, it's like some B sharp sound and then that ends and yeah the the space just starts tilting so it starts tilting and you just hear the sound of the rocks kind of falling across the stage and maybe some are passing quite close to you or behind you or you just, but you just hear that or I don't know mm. plonk 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 I don't know this sound that big rocks would make kind of falling across um, a room and then when it's finished it just tilts the other way and so there's this and you hear them kind of crash into one another and um, and then so now you're sitting on a tilt um, so that's the piece basically um, that's just what happens repeatedly for a very long time um, Or it could be that 